the documentary we are about to listen to and watch celebrates the life and times of Professor Peter Palmer, a.k.a. 1937 to 2020. Born in 1937 at Adarode, a village in the outskirts of Okara inland in today's Ethiopian local government area of Delta State. His father, A.K. Okoruafo, was from Imoje, Orogun, in today's really not local government area, while his mother was Ereria Romale from Kokori. He was the first of his mother's five children in Okoligamo's home. Growing up in Okbara in the colonial period, he was popularly known as Palma. His father had named him Palma at birth after Mr. I.T. Palma, who was an agent of the Rio Nada Company, then living in Sapelo. The older Palma was instrumental to the setting up of churches and schools in Roboland. So Peter Ike's father had taught that naming his son after Palma will open up the same destiny for him, especially in the area of Western education. The Catholic school he attended was to name him Peter as a reflection of the missionary education he was to acquire. He began formal education in 1944 when he enrolled at the Catholic Central School of Para Inland founded by Reverend Father and later Bishop Kelly in 1934. The school, which is now HIFA Primary School, named after the first Robo graduate, Mark Neil Gabriel HIFA, was also the school attended by John Kingsley Onigu Otite and Chamberlain Oruwuji. While Otite later became a prominent professor of sociology at the University of Ibadan, Chamberlain Orewuje became the OVA of Akbo Kingdom, Oguri Merriman, Okwara I. Peter Eke became the school's general monitor in 1951, the same year he finished. He entered St. Peter Clever's College, SPCC, Agalokwi, in 1952, and finished in 1956 in grade one, which was a very rare feat in those days. After working briefly in the civil service and teaching Latin in a secondary school, A.K. entered University College, Ibadan, in 1961 to study sociology in the Faculty of the Social Sciences. He was to graduate in 1964 as the best writing student in the Faculty of the Social Sciences. Thus, he joined the League of M.G. Ajaife, Gordon Umukoro, and Onigu Otite as Opara's early university graduate. AK's 1964 feat as the best writing student at the University of Bano Faculty of the Social Sciences had a parallel in many other achievements by Urobo at UI that year. It was the year that Isdor Okbewo from Abraka graduated as the best student in the Faculty of Arts with first class honors in classics. It was also the year that Frank Ukoli from Agbara Wari and Matthew Scott Umako from Ereni obtained their PhDs and became lecturers at the University of Ibadan. After the University of Ibadan, Itaiki obtained a Rockefeller Foundation scholarship for postgraduate studies at Stanford University from 1965 to 1966, and later at the University of California, Berkeley from 1966 to 1970, both in the United States of America, where he obtained the Master of Science and PhD degrees, respectively. On graduation, Peter Ike taught at the University of California, Riverside, before returning to Nigeria. He spent one year as a research fellow at the Amadebelo University, Zaria, from 1973 to 1974. On invitation from Professor B.J. Dudley, Peter Ike joined the Department of Political Science at the University of Ibadan in 1974. He was to become the head of the Department of Political Science in 1978, and it was at Ibadan that he evolved into an academic colossus 
of global acclaim. He won many prestigious fellowships in Europe, America, and Japan. He published Colonialism and the Two Publics in Africa, a theoretical statement in 1975, and the essay became a major anchor for social science theorizing all over the world. He became a professor in 1978. His 1982 inaugural lecture, titled Colonialism and Social Structure, was globally acclaimed. Professor Peter Palma Eke belonged to a stellar constellation of Nigerian social scientists, including Ojetunji Aboyade, Aki Mabobuje, Essien Udon, Billy Dudley, Claude Ake, Omafume Onoge, Onigu Otite, Bade Onimode, Bala Usman, Eskotoyo, BIC Ijoma, among others. On the African continent, he rubbed shoulders with Ali Mazuri and Mahmoud Mandani. Professor Eke relocated to the US in 1989 and joined the teaching staff of the State University of New York, from where he retired in 2013. He returned to Nigeria and settled in Ephraim, concentrating on promoting Robo history and culture. He had earlier founded the Robo Historical Society in 1999 and donated a building to her the headquarters at Obara Inland, his birthplace. Through the UHS, he was able to advance research in Yoruba affairs and hosted many conferences on Yoruba history and culture overseas and in Nigeria. The UHS website, wado.org, is a treasure trove of information on Yoruba history and culture. The UHS has also launched an online library and museum for global culture. He facilitated the publication of many books on global history and culture, such as Studies in Global Culture, Worry City and British Colonial Rule in Western Niger Delta, The Urubo People of Niger Delta, Olum and the Development of Robo Land and Western Niger Delta, GEA Salubi. Witness to British colonial rule in Roboland and Nigeria, and many more essays. His untiring excavation of Robo history and culture was instrumental to putting the Robo on the global map of scholarship. He was also active in the affairs of the Robo Progress Union, UPU, the creation of Delta State, and more. He was a true champion of Robo nationalism. Professor Peter Palma Eke was awarded the honorary doctorate of the Delta State University of Abraham in 2007. Two kingdoms in Roboland, namely Agbo and Ulumu, also conferred chief chancellor titles on him. Professor Eke was married to the love of his life, Dr. Helen, for 56 years. They begot five children, Onome, Agbo Fure, Unoriunde, and he was also a grandfather. He breathed his last on November 17, 2020, thus bringing to an end a remarkable life devoted to scholarship, an impactful life devoted to the advancement of humanity, a worthy life devoted to the promotion of robo history and culture, and thus robo nationalism. Although Professor Peter Palma Eke has departed, his works and name will resonate in the annals of humanity for as long as life endures. People like Professor Peter Palma Eke do not die. Their works, their impact, their legacies will forever remain as a testimony that they were here, that they lived, and that they are still here and still live. Akbore, Life has no end. Professor Peter Palma Eke told the Yorubu Mimi Akbo Kedefao. Oh, yeah, they show
Yeah. 